Hi there, this is my first ever video for Ventures Uncharted. I'm uh, pretty excited to have about two weeks left before I go on my trip around the world. I wanted to make a video about the accessories that I've attached to my motorcycle, along with the protective equipment that I'll be bringing along the way. So the first two things that I'd ever bought for my bike were Bark Buster handguards and MRA Vario Touring Windshield. Uh, little did I know, and I probably should have done the research, uh, but the two weren't compatible. However, my workaround for that was to buy two inch rocks risers. This allowed me to pull the handlebars back a couple inches uh, to give me the full range of motion to effectively control the motorcycle. I also added a thermometer on the center of the handlebars, and that's just to give me an indication of the outside temperature. For additional protection, I went with SW Motex crash bars, uh, RNG's uh, radiator guard, and SW Motex skid plate. Additionally, I opted for a center stand, so if I need to prop the bike up for anything, for like repairs or anything like that, uh, I can do so with the center stand. I went again with SW Motec for the storage containers. These are about 48 liters. I've packed all of my equipment in there, and there's more than enough room to go around, so I'm pretty excited about that. What's interesting about the Honda NC700X is they shifted the gas tank from the front to the rear, uh, rear portion of the bike. Uh, so this becomes a storage container and you sit on the gas tank. Now this reduces the amount of gas that you can effectively uh, have at one time. However, my workaround for that was to buy additional gas containers right there, which I will be uh, mounting onto the back of the bike on both sides. So in regards to protective equipment, I went with Revit's H2Os, uh, these waterproof gloves. They get kind of hot in, in warmer weather, warmer weather, but uh, they're, they're pretty effective overall. I went with a basic combat boot, only because I've had them for years and they're just versatile. They, they work in all types of environments. I have an, an Arai XD4 helmet. Uh, I've had this for about two years and I absolutely love it. It's, it's, it's wonderful. So for the jacket and the pants, I went with Revit. Uh, this is a Revit's Outback jacket, and it has three layers uh, for cold protection and wet weather protection as well. Um, I very much enjoy it because it has a lot of storage and a lot of breathability. Uh, so I, I look forward to wearing this along the way. And for the pants, like I said, I went with Revit again. Uh, but these are the Outback style. And again, it comes with uh, three different layers of protection uh, for warm weather or for cold weather and uh, uh, for the rain. Uh, and I like these are they're, they're quite comfortable wearing them. So these are all the accessories and the uh, protective gear that I'll be wearing. I'll probably make an additional video later on about all the equipment that I will be taking with me. but thank you for watching.